हेलो गाइस द नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज द मैग्नेट्रॉन सो मैग्नेट्रॉन इज अ हाई पावर्ड वैक्यूम ट्यूब आई हैव ऑलरेडी टोल्ड यू दैट व्हाई वी आर यूजिंग मैग्नेट्रॉन वी हैव दैट रिफ्लेक्स क्लेस्ट्रॉन एज अ ऑसिलेटर इट्स आल्सो यूज एज ऑसिलेटर बट रिफ्लेक्स क्लेस्ट्रॉन एफिशिएंसी इज वेरी लेस एंड इट्स यूज फॉर द लोअर पावर डिवाइसेज सो फॉर हाई पावर डिवाइसेज वी यूज द मैग्नेट्रॉन मैग्नेट्रॉन इज अ हाई पावर्ड वैक्यूम ट्यूब दैट वर्कस एज अ सेल्फ एक्साइटेड माइक्रोवेव ऑसिलेटर वाई सेल्फ एक्साइटेड आई एल टेल यू दिस इज अ क्रॉस एम क्रॉस फील्ड आई हैव टोल्ड यू दैट दिस माइक्नोट्रॉन इज एग्जाम्पल ऑफ द क्रॉस फील्ड यू बिकॉज मैग्नेटिक फील्ड एंड द इलेक्ट्रिक फील्ड आर प्रोपेंडिकुलर टू ईच अदर सो दे आर प्रोड्यूस टू प्रोड्यूस हाई पावर आउटपुट जो हमारे डार्क इक्विपमेंट के लिए चाहिए होते हैं एंड द फ्रिक्वेंसी इज सिक्स हंड्रेड टू थर्टी थाउजेंड मेगा हर्ट्स एंड हियर वी यूज अ कैबिटी एट टू ट्वेंटी कैबिटीज लाइक इन कैबिटी क्लस्ट वी यूज ओनली वन कैबिटी ना बट हियर वी यूज एटी टू ट्वेंटी कैबिटीज द डिसएडवाटेज ऑफ द मैग्नेट्रॉन इज दैट इट वर्क ओनली इन द फिक्स फ्रिक्वेंसी कंस्ट्रक्टिवली दैट मीन्स दैट द कैबिटी क्लस्टॉन इज रेजोनेंट फ्रिक्वेंसी इज बेस्ड अपॉन द इट्स कंस्ट्रक्शन its length is breadth and this so it's only works on the fixed frequencies so this is the main um, you can say the disadvantage of the magneton now we'll go to the working of the magneton let's start this is the diagram of the magneton this is cathode these are the anode cavities right and these are the filament to be attached to this so as like in an cliston and in that twt is and all what will happen the electrons go from cathode to anode similarly in this these are the anode cavities right like we using the reflex cliston this is the capacitor this act like inductor right and from here the electron goes but here one thing is this electric field is going in is is this but magnetic field is perpendicular to each other electric field and magnetic field are perpendicular to each other right so magnetic field is in the direction of cathode like in perpendicular direction and electric field is in this direction this is the rf input in this in one of the uh, you can say rf cavity this is the rf input in one of the anode so when ever when this any of the cavity get resonated any of the cavity get resonated to its resonant frequency it will link to the another one but at the 180 degree phase difference so when this all cavity also get resonated due to the this rf resonated then it will link to this but 180 degree phase difference so all these are separated by 180 degree phase differences and uh, okay let's start with it you know that this is cathode i have already told you this is rf input probe you can say coaxial probe these are the filaments filament wires and this is the filament which is connected to the dc voltage and here will be the magnets they will be the uh, permanent uh, dc dc magnetic field and dc electric field and these are the anodes okay let's start you can see from here interaction space anode block cathode filament resonant cavity this is what resonant cavity looks like this looks like a capacitor and this looks like a inductor right see what will happen this is the cathode and these are the anode cavities when when there is no magnetic field what happen the electron beam from the cathode mode to reach cathode it is that blue line without any force without any problem it will reach to the anode like this when somewhat magnetic field start getting then the electrons get the closed path like this when more magnetic field is increasing it gets some more path when magnetic field c when the electron speed or the when electron speed increases that means electric field increasing and the magnetic field is also increasing then it will get the circular path because magnetic field flow the cause the electron to flow into the circular path they will not allow the electron to go to the cathode this time electric field magnetic field was not there it will go to the cathode this time smaller magnetic field was here it will go to the cathode very more than it go to the but very much that it will not go to the anode right from cathode to anode so what it will do it will come to an cathode 
itself so there is a bombardment and when these fast moving electrons come to cathode again then there will be back bombardment of the cathode which produces the heat in cathode and decreases its operational frequency right so according to its operation what happen for example i have applied one rf input here when rf input is applied the electron which is coming to this anode cavity will get accelerated or deaccelerated because rf input is a microwave input it's like this right if the electron gets the accelerating field then its velocity will increase and if the electron get deaccelerating field and its velocity will decrease so see the first case if the electron get accelerated what will happen if the electron get the accelerated field its speed increases its speed increases electric field increases magnetic field is magnetic field increases it will never come to anode it will come to cathode and bombardment will occur and if the deaccelerating magnetic field is there then the electron speed get decrease so means electric field is not that much then the magnetic field will not put the electron in the circular path it will go to the anode so the electron will only go to the anode in case of magnetic field when there is a deaccelerating rf input right see this is the uh, cavity resonator and this one is the magnetic field and the electric field is because it's a capacitor so you are seeing that this electron is traveling going to this path because it this electron uh, this electron get deaccelerated by the rf input that's why it is coming to anode right so by following this trajectory and this path the magnetron will work like this rotating space charge wheel in a this is a 12 cavity magnetron right so when uh, that uh, let this is be the rf input applied at the one of the anode cavity and that electron will reach here in that cavity electron is here it will get accelerated when it will get accelerated it its speed will increased so much that it will not go to the these anode cavities it will come to this it will come to this will not go to the anode cavity and if the field is deaccelerating then the electron speed will get decreased and if the electron speed is restricted then where will the energy go it will go somewhere because of the energy conservation it will use to amplify this so energy em wave loses its energy to the field right so only the deaccelerating field only the electron at the deaccelerating field will reach the anode right will reach the anode otherwise no other electron will reach the anode it will start following the circular path right so i am going to uh, the magnetron operation will be summarized in these four basic operation first one is generation and acceleration of electron beam in a dc field right which will give to the filament leads second one is velocity modulation um velocity modulation occurs due to the rf field right due to the rf input applied at the rf is the you can say the microwave input applied and the third one is the formation of the electron bunches by the velocity modulation and fourth one is the rf field you can also say that the ac field and fourth one is the reducing or transferring energy to rf field these are the four basic operations of the magnetron i'll summarize the magnetron again first this is the cathode these are the anode cavities and this is the microwave input given in one anode cavity right so what happened when the and this is the north and the south this is the permanent dc field 
and from here this is DC field applied right so due to this DC field it is at negative when it is at node is at positive potential right so what will happen the electron whenever when there is no magnetic field the electron will go straightly towards a node right and uh, <coughs> like this it will go to all the nodes like this and when it will go to this anode then there is a RF input right there is a RF input when the electron reaches this cavity at this point it means there is no RF field it means the electron will go easily to that anode and when the electron reaches the cavity when the RF input is at this direction that means electron speed is increased but there is no magnetic field so electron speed gets very much increased right and it is if the electron is at this direction then it's decreased so when we applied the magnetic field without applying any RF field right now I haven't applied any RF field I only apply the magnetic field here that DC magnetic field so this electron which was going in the state direction it will follow a circular path it will magnetic field deflect the circular path of that electron more the velocity more will be the deflection lesser the velocity lesser will be the deflection remember the thing right so if I given the RF input due to the RF input if the velocity of the electron is increasing means velocity is increasing means more circular path it will never come to that anode it will follow the circular path and will come to a node itself and when there is a decreasing uh, electric field due to the RF input so then there will be a decrease in the electron velocity so it will decrease in the velocity it will follow the rest circular path so it can come to the a node right and when the electron beam and uh, when th there there will be the formation of the bunches huh? due to this RF field on the electrons there will be the formation of bunches when the bunch of electrons when the lesser speed of the bunch of electron reaches that anode then there will be a uh, reaches that anode and there will be a it is like this right this anode cavity is very close when the electron reaches there then there will be a formation of potential here and the formulation of oscillation it will resonate at its particular frequency when the electron beam reaches here when the one cavity resonate it will let the other cavity to resonate but at the 180 degree phase difference then it will let the another cavity 180 degree phase difference so all these cavities were at 180 degree phase difference with each other and this is the pi mode of the magnetron so there is one word is strapping this will come this has come in the ISRO exam last year uh, that uh, why the stepping is used in the magnetron right so stepping is stepping is to connect the alternating cavities like these are the cavities so it will connect the alternative cavities together right it is done to prevent the unnecessary modes stepping is done to prevent the unnecessary mode so if we want the pi mode the stepping will allow only the pi mode no other modes will be allowed it will cancel out all the modes right so stepping is done to prevent the unnecessary modes in the magnetron okay this is what stepping is done see the alternating cavities are connected to each other see this is the probe and these are the connected to each other so <coughs> you can say that for other modes however the phase difference exists between the successive segments connected to the given strapping ring which causes the current to flow in the straps so current flow in the straps right in the strapping mode so it is used to prevent the unnecessary uh, that unnecessary phases these are the modes of the uh, cavity clistron uh, sorry magnetron first one is the pi mode then the 1 by 2 pi mode and the 3 by 4 pi modes you can see the change in the frequencies due to the change in the modes so the pi mode is the most powerful mode of the magnetron and is mostly used it's a higher output power mode and the rest one are the decreasing modes okay so this is all about the magnetron right if there is any doubt do comment on the comment section and do subscribe our channel like our videos thank you